stick. Probably change that. I get it. I get two bars. Let me see. Look at the colors. Yeah, buddy. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's gonna go away. We might have it for a minute. No, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's beautiful out here. It's majestic, majestic. Um, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for more people to get on. It takes usually five to ten minutes for there to be a, a crowd. Should have been on live this whole time. Yo, what's up, y'all? What you see in front of you is all plants. We could even go live on like Instagram. Okay, I need to show the stickers. <laughs> huh? We could just grab a pizza and you can show the stickers. What do you mean? Oh, like we don't have to. Unless you're. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, we. we... I know you're getting cranky. You're like no, a, no, a gremlin. You're you're um, you're good. I, I, you're just if you're not like it's it's connected. It might be a little choppy. Right now, I'm just waiting for there to be more people. Yes, I am a fucking gremlin. But yeah, you're a reverse gremlin. Uh, you have to feed him once it gets evening. Feed me ganja. <laughs> feed me ganja. What's this? This is oh the royal this OG. Is royal OG. Looking royal purple, royal blue, just looking majestic. Oh yes, royal OG, and then we got more royal OG, and then we have out in not in the city. So if if the live is choppy or whatever, I apologize. Really wanted to show everybody what I'm looking at. Um, Usually my lives are just me talking and uh, I get to give you something good to look at. Look at this. That's beautiful. Ooh, look at this one. Let me let me let me make my way over there. Look at that. Yeah, and this is Lost Oak Farms. So in mid November Mid November, this should be ready. Mid November, yeah. you could you can buy all this and smoke it. The purple, the two purple I showed you was Bubba Kush fifty nine, and the first one was Royal OG. This is what Royal. This is Royal OG. Right so there. yeah, this is Royal. It's definitely nice. Beautiful. Um. Yeah, we could walk through and get on over to the, the special. Yo, what's up, Patrick? Patrick's, uh, he's on the live. Patrick is the owner and operator of Type 3 in Vegas, I keep telling oh, you about. Sweet, sweet. What's up, Patrick? And this is, this is Jesha, uh, owner of Lost Oak Farms. Uh, got some premium outdoor out here. Lots of other stuff. Anthony, what's up, Anthony? Uh, type three, Anthony's on here, Jessica. Hey, what's up, Type three? 
going on, brother? He was just thanks talking about the, you earlier. Yeah, thanks for all the love this past year. Every season, you you guys are super kind to me. Appreciate all the shouts, bro. Couldn't do it without guys like you. Yeah, so... So, Chavez, you want to... <laughs> Is a big reveal. So, so Anthony, you in particular, bro, get the lotion and Kleenex out. I'll give you a couple seconds. Go pretend like you got a pop of squat. Uh, what we got right here is uh, the blue nitro. So Jesha and Lost Oak Farms is the only outdoor farm. And I don't even know. I don't know of any indoor that's growing the blue nitro. Chris might have sent out a few seeds, but outdoor. Yeah. Um Jesha has a blue night watching. Um, and this is, uh, oh, Terp Supreme said he already, uh, he already climaxed. So, um, um, yeah, so my camera is on, no, it's not my camera. It's the connection. If, if, if it looks, if it looks pixely or choppy it's because I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And so I don't have good service. My camera's fine. Um, so if y'all remember the video, this last time I went and met burner and I showed him flower, um, this is a strain that I showed him and it's a, it's a Kush cross from Zoe is dope. And yeah, again, I apologize y'all if the quality is not supreme. Um, I'm out, I'm out on a farm. There's nothing I can do about it, <laughs> but yeah, so no, I three really said I need that. No, he said I needs that. So the the three percent African DNA that's in him is coming out. So come over a couple more rows with me, Shabazz. Man like Willow we said never reveal. seen. Oh yeah, we got another reveal. Man like Willow, a plant with leaves like what? A color? I'm. Um, is so, this? So right here, what we're looking at um, again from Zoe Therapeutics. This is Kush Loops. Uh, and I know Shabazz is really high on the blue nitro. We are too. I, I, I've got a couple people and specifically the breeder himself who tells me that this Kush loops is a step above from the blue nitro. So we'll have to, to see until these plants are harvested and dried out and, and trimmed up and all that good stuff. Um, but we are the only outdoor farm with Kush loops this season as well. So we have two strains, blue nitro, Kush loops. Um, that are exclusive to our farm, uh, and we cannot wait to release these. Just cannot wait to get them out to the public. And um, again, thanks to good people like Shabazz for helping us spread the word and and uh, and just getting getting the message out to the people. Yep. You know, just you know, this is all outdoor, so it, it has to be harvested and dried and cured. So yeah. We're two, three weeks off from cutting these girls down. You can see they're still really milky. There's uh, not any kind of, very little discoloration in the leaves. Uh, uh, but the smell of these, it's like, smells just like Fruit Loops. It is just like a sweet cereal, uh, crystally. Um, you know, I thought our critical berries last year at around this time was, was uh, uh, just looking just, I, I couldn't believe the way it looked. Anyway. This, I think, is going to be as good, if not better, than our Critical Berry. It's just kind of based off of, uh, of uh, an early look here. Um, anyway, um, again, just cannot wait for these. They're just stacking up really nice. That's going to be an 18-inch long nut. These ones, too. We took them from um, uh, these. Um, so they didn't get quite as tall. Um, they don't really have the... the um, main cola stem that you're sometimes you get when you're going from seed um, so they're a little bit bushier the yield per plant is going to be a little bit lower this is going to be a little bit more of an exclusive strain just because we're not going to have a ton of it um, but i'm going to make as much of it available um, as soon as i can to the people so uh, uh, somebody's asking if you would be willing to sell whole colas uh Yes and no. I mean, we'd have to kind of make some sort of special arrangement just because I have to, um, once we trim them up, you know, they get kind of broken down into golf ball size, you know, type nugs. Uh, so I don't know, maybe hit me up, hit me on, on my, uh, on my IG at Lost Oak Farms and, you know, maybe we can work something out, but that isn't a 
typical product we sell. It would be a nice little gimmick, you know. Yeah, yeah, we could. You could weigh them out, and I do. You know, with some of these, I, I personally, it's, it's the trimmers really who like to, to cut them a little bit smaller. Um, you know, I like to, to leave them a little bit longer myself. Um, some of you, I'm sure, have gotten bags for me this past season where you, you've got. I will preserve those nuts, and I love like when somebody orders a quarter. You know, uh, uh, and so we'll continue to invest in Super Stoked to be working with Zoe and uh, to have this opportunity to uh, bring a couple new out here doing his thing. Uh, I was a little nervous. I didn't think he was going to get on the airplane <laughs> based off of some of those posts that I, I saw from him uh, a, a night or two before him coming out here. On the Discord. Um, yeah, on the Discord. So I was, I was relieved to see him when he uh, finally stepped off that plane. And uh, we've just been having a blast down here. It's been um, such a pleasure just showing Shabazz around and um, just seeing him like a kid in a candy store, seeing this stuff. A lot of the same feels that a lot of us that have been in the industry for a few years now, we all had that same feeling too. That's why we all got into this, you know, but uh, a little, it wears off a little bit over the years. So it's great to like see it, you know, kind of <laughs> reminds me when I see it on his face. Uh, so anyway, we've just been having a blast and um, Again, just just blessed to be here um, doing our thing. Hold on, we're reconnecting. Okay, so I've only I got here yesterday, and I'm gonna be here all day today. I'm gonna be here all day tomorrow, and then I'll be here half of the day on Friday. But just yesterday and today is just it's been such a uh, such a crazy such a crazy experience, and in a good way. Um, I mean, just look at this. You know, go ahead and screenshot that for the best screensaver you ever had. There's a wallpaper. Um, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, RPS said, I wish we had smell of vision Yeah. Um, you know what's so crazy is that, man, my hands just after touching that nug, uh, well, that cola, it's not a nug yet. Um, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, when you pull up to these fields and the different parts of the fields, depending on the strain, you could smell it. So, for example, if uh, over here where the Kush Loops is, it smells a little bit more sweeter. And then if if you go over here to this side of the field where you got the, the Kushes and the Royal OG, um, it smells a little bit like you could just in the air, the breeze in that area smells a little bit more, a little more gassy, a little bit more, a little bit more darker. Um, and it's been the same, all the farms, um, that we've been to, depending on what's growing, you can smell it and that that's dope. That's how strong the terpenes are. And I'll tell y'all what, um, if you're watching this now, if you watch it later, um, like it's it's gonna be the best outdoor harvest for us it'll be our best ever this is the first year we haven't had to buy water uh so we were just able to leave the tap on and i mean we grew twice as many plants this season uh everything just stayed so hydrated so great um it's gonna be a phenomenal year we're we're really pumped yeah um today we went to horn creek we went to Elihu and we went to Lost Oak. And really, those three farms is like the the, the three big ones. That's that Horn Creek, Elihu, and Lost Oak is like right now in the type three game as far as outdoor goes. That's the. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah, dude. I, I appreciate you lumping us in that class. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> dude, if, I mean, look, 90% of the other outdoor farms don't even exist anymore. And, and now the ones that are putting out the good stuff is, is really U3. Um, and one thing that you might notice is this is, this is the whole field right here. It's two acres. Jesse. Yeah. Two acres. So it's, it's two acres. And so when you, he's got a lot less plants than everybody else. So, um, him and his, his farm hand, his, his technician, um, they're able to put a lot more like attention into each individual plant as where, you know, the other farms have thousands you know I, ellie who has thirty thousand plants um and and with a with a smaller 
a smaller, I guess you could say a batch, but with a smaller crop like this, um, it's easier to notice problems. It's easier to take care of the plant. Um, you know, you could, you could micromanage a little bit. So um, those cows, I don't know if, if y'all can see the cows back there. If I zoom in, it's super choppy, but there's, oh yeah, horses. there's horses. Oh, oh, my bad. I don't have my glasses on. It's all good, bro. Oh, oh yeah. Those it's Oh, they're, they're like dappled horses. They got like Holstein coloring. But there's horses back there. So from, oh my God. So from here to those horse, from here to those horses, that's it. So how many plants would you say is out here? Oh, we did, I think, 1,800? 1,800 this year. So 1,800. So less than 2,000 compared. 15 times that amount yeah um and uh, let me show you a couple of my favorites right here at lost oak so we have this one this has kind of a, a kandahar afghani red fade going on it's super sexy super super spicy um and then we have some like this girl over here with just uh and, and this is all uh what am i in royal og look at this no i'm in the i'm in the bubba kush 59 row right here and then critical berries is over here and so look at this 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 is my favorite critical berries in the whole field she just looks like a i don't know dude she looks like a she's got that purple color. she looks like a just like just she looks exotic all right let's just leave it at that she's like a super hot like 23 year old Turkish chick with curves, you know, just. We got berries for three rows, but I mean, we grew probably, I don't know, 50 times as much critical berries as we did last season. So we're gonna have a, a, a good, good supply of that. Yeah, the critical berries right here. We got the Bubba Kush and you can see the difference in, in so check out these plants right here. He said that's weirdly specific. I mean, I'm just trying to think of like, just, you know, like one of the baddest chicks you could see. Um, so these plants right here, you see they're, they're, they're really green. And as they're getting close to harvest, you're seeing not a colorful fade, but just a fade of chlorophyll. And, and, and these leaves are turning yellow. So this is critical. Oh, check out that sunset, everybody. It's beautiful country around here. It's, 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 it's majestic. All right. Um, anyways. So this is, yeah, yeah, the, the connection's really bad. You're just going to have to list, um, my bad, you know, I can't, I'm on a farm. I'm on a farm. Um, but I just want to show you the, uh, so this is all critical berries. And this looks, this looks one way. And then this next row is the Bubba Kush. And, and just look at Stark difference this is super dark red um it's more squat wire got a more expression and then over here you have a more hybrid expression um so all of this is really beautiful here's another pretty fade right there um yeah it's crazy and yeah i'm i'm he said get closer we can't see because the quality let me let me take you back. Yeah, I didn't come out here just to go live. I got plenty, plenty of plenty of pictures and videos. Um, um, let me. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stay focused on this plant right here. So hopefully, if you didn't see it before, maybe you'll be able to catch a, a glimpse. Of it. But um. Yeah, I got I got plenty of pictures and videos, so we're gonna have not one, but multiple videos that are gonna come out of this. I'm vlogging the whole thing. There's lots to see. Yes, yes, gorgeous fade indeed. This is all type three. This is all type three. So we got over there is the blue nitro, which is a lemon octane phenol from Zoe Therapeutics. We got Kush Loops, we got Bubba Kush 12, Bubba Kush 59, uh, Royal OG. It's all all type three stuff. Um, um, I think 
Jesha was telling me that next year he might do some type two, um, but this year it's all three. So for all THC sensitive folks out there like me, this is all all safe stuff. Yeah, that is that is a that is a crazy lineup. Um, the purple, no, the purple is Royal OG and Bubba Kush Fifty Nine. Those are the the two. It's very green. It's not BK Fifty Nine. And then this super super dark. This is like a Batman plant. Um, you know, um, it's got the Nigerian energy going on. Um, that's the Royal OG. So. You know, these OG plants, the OG Kush genetics come straight out of Central Asia from, you know, Afghanistan and Pakistan. And that's how they grow there. And that's how they're growing here. I mean, it's like fuel and and candy. It's 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 a, such a sweet OG Kush. Um, yeah, Bubba Kush 59 is always a go to that's that's. Bubba Kush 59 is just the absolute classic stereotypical Bubba Kush. Um, just Kush, period. Just Bubba Kush 59 is just just absolutely a Kush. Yeah, there it is. That's Lost Oak, though. Um, and, uh, yeah, we I got lots of pictures, lots of video angles, all that. Um, Oh, you got to save that volunteer plant, dude. You got to. Look, I need you all to go bombard Jesha with Instagram <laughs> comments. I'm, I'm going to piss him off. But um, you got to let him know that this is a good idea. Save the volunteer. Yeah, we got we to start a campaign. You got to do a... What's that website where you make petitions? Um, well, they go, said... Go they, find me. Hey, if you guys get a GoFundMe together, <laughs> if you guys get a thousand dollars in the GoFundMe, no, I think it's like Change.org where people can make. Okay, so check this out. So this is a, this is what's called a volunteer plant in the industry. So this is, we're here on a cannabis farm, and this is a plant that was not intentionally planted. It, obviously, it grew from a seed that dropped here at some point in time. Um, so. Jesha doesn't know what strain it is. To me, it it definitely smells like it could be lemon octane, or I mean, it's a it's a volunteer plant, so it's it's gonna be a cross of two things. So, in my head, it could definitely be like half sour brulee, half half lemon octane, or something like it. It smells like a lot of the strains that he's grown here. Um, but um, unless y'all go bug him on Instagram. Or, or somewhere, he's just gonna let this just die off. Yeah, yeah, we're not selling this stuff, everybody. Don't worry, you're, this isn't what you're getting in any of your bags. No, 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 and listen to me. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not, I, I want him to just take this and dry it and actually process this plant and, and it just be kind of a special, just, just a, a gimmick novelty from this trip. I, it, it's like, it's kind of like someone who doesn't, want to see like a wounded animal like somebody who wants to like save every single like spider that's how shabazz feels about this cannabis which is a beautiful thing it's endearing really you know that, that you want to save the cannabis you want to unfortunately you know to make an omelet you got to break some eggs this no but you know what you know what's special about this is that this is going to be an unknown cross because this is most likely the product of it could be from hermy pollen it could be from feral pollen something made seeds and dropped it here so it's unknown what it is and so this is just going to be the unknown lost oak strain yeah, yeah. nobody well, knows it's a mystery we're strain. gonna call this lost cannabis <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> now nah, maybe 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 um maybe maybe he'll like save me a cola or something but it's got to be done you got to tell you gotta tell Jesse. What's his IG? I'm gonna message him. Be like, Jesse, go, go put a couple of those colas away for me. Yeah, I, I'll I'll talk to him. Yeah, cause I mean, some of them have touched the ground already. So, oh, oh well, look, there we go. Look, there you go. Look, look, it's a bouquet. I can't sell that shit now. It's a bouquet of flowers. Um, you know, we could we could go hang this up in the dry thing right now, and uh, yeah, we're gonna lightsaber duel with the flower. <laughs> That's how you know this it's real. This is what real. we're doing with your flower, guys. <laughs> this is what we do before we put it in the 
in the dryer. No, but it smells good. It smells sweet and it smells gassy. So I, I, I want to smoke some of this. Cheers, Shabazz. You can take the whole thing. <laughs> it. You know what? I'm going to go hang this up. All right. All right. Good. I'm going to go. This is like dry. You know, so it's interesting. So you'll see this right here. Dry. This, this might be an ounce um, when it's all said and done. You know, right now, wet. This is like, uh, you know, this is, I don't know. This is like uh, three quarter pounds, but that's all water weight. And once you dry it down, it, it might be an ounce of actual finished flour. And there is some seeds in here too. No, it, oh, he said it could be considered a land race in the future. Technically, yeah, if it goes feral and it breeds and it drops seeds and they just keep... Um, Right now, though, it's mystery, and I did see a couple swollen calyxes in there. So this, this is a lost oak novelty right here. So uh, here we are in, uh, <clears throat> in the dry room. And, um, you know, here, we're going to give you this premium location here. This is put you right up here in the front row. There you go, bro. This is the Shabazz flower. I'm not going right. to let anyone touch it. Yeah. It's yours, bro. Oh, you see, Patrick said, get the seeds that are in there and, and he'll grow it. We could do, we could make, no, dude, you, you're not realizing the opportunity here. <laughs> this could be the beginning of a Lost Oak exclusive genetic right here because this is an unknown cross. Of the Shabazz strain? Is this yes, like, this is, is this a, the future of the Shabazz This could be like the fucking volunteer Kush or something, dude. Like, yeah. that, that, this is the beginning of a whole story arc right here. Okay, um, okay. I dig it, I dig it. Yeah, you see, everybody's saying, do it, dude. <laughs> we got yeah dude all right all right he said dude patrick said he'll breed it and he'll even send you back seeds so that you can continue growing it and selling it okay we're gonna make you rich okay hey <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have him diving into a pile of coins like okay. scrooge mcduck okay I'm, i won't say no to that <laughs> That do that now. You see, that's that that that's 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 where I come in. That's the culture. That, that's what we call the culture of it, right? It's it's the it's the it's the I I don't know what it is, but that that's the culture, right? That's that's the spirit of that's that's how some legendary strains have come about. Is is finding random bag seed or random volunteer plants and working with them and. Um, yeah, that's that's how some legendary shit has come about, dude. So, um, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, hopefully that dries up nice, and uh, you don't even gotta cure it, dude. You could send it to me, just dry it. I'll cure it up, stick it in a mason jar. I'll sift it for seeds, and there's there's gonna be some seeds in there. That's a whole plant, and I saw I saw a couple swollen calyxes. Look, dude, the whole chat, the whole chat is people putting names for the potential strain. I know you're so annoyed right now. You're like, shut the fuck no, up. No, I'm not, bro. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Uh, but I can't do anything with that, unfortunately. I, you know, we get a few of those every year. I'm sure there's a couple more around here if we, if we went and looked for them. Uh, but truth is, we cut them down because, you know, there's a danger that they're going to... Uh, be a male or a hermy and um, you know accidentally spread some pollen and so we uh, we get rid of those uh, for the most part we don't get attached to them um, that's a that's one of the rules of farming is you you don't give names to your well, well opting I'm like Angelina Jolie in a third world country all right I want <laughs> all right all right check out the the Kush loop sticker Where's the, the blue nitro? It should be. Uh, oh, here it is. Here blue nitro. Blue nitro, Lost Oak Farms. Yeah, so look, look, we hung that. Um, you think Jesse, when that's dry, you really think he'll he'll set that aside or, or bag it up? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I ask him. I'm going to ask him as a personal favor. All right, we got to make that happen. Y'all got to, look, go DM Lost Oak Farms on IG and make sure that happens. Because I, even if I get that little cola that I picked off, um, 
there's bound to be a couple seeds in there and I could send those to Patrick and and we could literally make history and y'all witnessed it firsthand. Um yeah, y'all witnessed it. We could we could make history with that. Um Yeah, I'm about to roll up. We're about to go eat. Um there's some do this this town Ashland, Oregon. It's such a nice little town. There's so many like little like mom and pop owned like restaurants and bars and and like there's a there's a little apothecary downtown. Um, it's it's ridiculous. Um, I keep saying like I feel like it's it's a cult. They're like harvesting organs around here. Some it's too picture perfect. Um, but we're gonna go eat some some pizza. I'm going to roll up a J on the way. I'm a, actually, you know what's funny? And I'm not doing this for the live. I'm, I promise you, Jesha, Jesha could, 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 can vouch for me. What I have in here is my travel stash of the Reddit cut from Type 3, which Patrick is on here. And I swear to y'all, this is what I was going to roll up. Um, I, want him to, I want him to try it and taste it. So... I'm gonna roll up a, a J of the, the Reddit cut, some OZ Kush. And um and smoke it. Uh, but it's been an awesome day. Um look at check out this this camera will flip. I mean I'm sure it's flipping, but I just can't see. You probably got me. If you can see the sunset, check out that sunset. We're about to go behind a hill. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful. Check out the, check it out. It's absolutely beautiful. We got cows in front of us. Look at that sunset. And we're going into town too. So uh, my life might get a little bit, might get a little bit better. I'll, st I'll stay on for a, a couple minutes. Um, but, uh, a huge shout out a huge shout out to Jesha right here um just just major um he did a lot to make this happen he kind of organized and coordinated with the other you know all the farms that we're checking out and the places that we're going and he put a lot of time and, and effort and 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 work in into bringing me out here and everything um him and Ellie Who and Zoe Therapeutics. So major shout out, but um, Jess is the one who's toting me around, all right? I'm, I'm being chauffeured around and shit like I'm somebody special. Um, and I'm not, I just look special. Um, you are somebody special, Shabazz. Come on, <laughs> come on, give yourself some credit, bro. Uh, hey, Gloria. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of like the red carpet treatment out here and shit, um, but I'm, I'm loving it. This is honestly, this is honestly like, a, it, this is such a, this is such an enriching experience, experience. Um, and I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to share it with all of you. You know, I got, I got so much footage already and, and everything. And I'm just, I'm super grateful to be out here and this is this is a trip of a lifetime, you know. I, I miss I miss my kids and everything, um, but I'm only out here for a few days. Um, Patrick said, "You deserve it, bro. You do so much for the space. It's crazy. We owe you. Nobody owes me. Um, I appreciate like I like Patrick. One thing I always told you in person, and one thing. Look at that moon, oh yeah, look at the, the moon. Um, one thing I always tell Patrick, like when I'm out in Vegas." Because Patrick, he likes to tell me that like, oh, I'm responsible for so much, so much good in the industry or whatever. But uh, I appreciate the appreciation. Um, Patrick's not wrong, bro. Yeah, and I'll, the same thing to you, dude. I appreciate the appreciation. Um, dude, I'm just passionate about this. It's like it. it I'm sure I would be. Whether I had a YouTube channel and, and, and everything or not, I would be super passionate about this. Obviously, I wouldn't be here now. I would just be another consumer, just really enjoying good flour. But I'm super thankful that I'm so passionate about this 
and I'm able to share it with the world too. And um, yeah, that I'm 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 able to be out here in Oregon right now, visiting these farms and 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 being able to touch the flower. And you know what's so crazy about this is that I'm gonna be smoking this flower, and I'm gonna be showing it to you on my channel in like two months. And so chances are, especially right here from Lost Oak, chances are some of the flower I'm gonna get, I touched it with my own hands. So that's super cool, it's kind of surreal. Um, RPS said, I'm definitely buying from Lost Oak this harvest just based off the hospitality he's showing. Aww, that warms my heart. No, seriously, <laughs> no, that seriously does. I mean, that's, that's awesome to hear. And honestly, you know, just to kind of echo, you know, what everyone's telling you, Shabazz, you are the man, and you have totally helped so many of us, and um, it's been my ultimate pleasure, really, just to, like, have you here and show you around and uh, get, you know, for you to be able to get to experience all this stuff firsthand, kind of kind of jump in and see how the sausage is made down here in southern oregon uh send you home with a few kielbasas you know and uh yeah buddy no seriously it's just been it's been so awesome just having shabazz here and uh just appreciate all the love i get from everybody in this community and uh it's just inspiration to keep doing what we're all doing so appreciate it thanks for the shout bro yeah and I see y'all talking about how you're going to buy Lost Oak and everything. Um, look, buying Lost Oak based on emotion is cool. But I'm here to tell you that you're going to want to buy it um, even more so just because I showed you the plants. All right? I, don't even need to, I don't even need to talk. I showed you the plants up close. Uh, the quality might have been a little shitty, but I'm going to release a video, obviously, and you'll be able to see the plants up close, and that's why you're going to want to buy Lost Oak. The quality of the of the connection. Right? Yeah, the, yeah, not the flower. No, my <laughs> bad. Yes, the my 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 cell quality, the stream quality, was messed up. Yes. But if you if if you saw the plants, you could see the quality was crazy, and that's why you want to buy Lost Oak. He's got just the whole lineup. The whole lineup is going to be fire. He's not gonna. He doesn't have Suver Haze and like the white CBG and uh peak panther like none of the shit that you're just gonna scroll past he's got the critical berries fire the bubba kush 59 fire the bubba kush 12 i've never tried bubba kush 12 so that's new to me and um obviously that's just it's just another pheno bubba kush but the bubba kush 12 the royal og uh the blue nitro and the kush loops so for all of you indica and kush lovers out there um, critical berries. That one the critical yeah i said i said critical yeah, berries yeah season, yo, yeah critical i love the way critical berries smells yeah um and yeah while i'm talking um you see me enough you can see you can see southern oregon you know this is where all this is being grown and i mean if we go back to 2018 2019 2020 this is where almost all of hemp was grown before people started doing indoor and before people were really starting to go crazy in North Carolina and, and upstate New York and shit, Southern Oregon is where like 95% of all the hemp flower came from um, up until like 2020, 2021. Um, so, Grape Kool-Aid said, how y'all not gonna mention the sour brulee one? You, are you, you have sour brulee. Uh, well, we grew some this past season, but I didn't grow any more uh, this next year. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know sour brulee was sour brulee was a big hit, but I and actually the truth is I do have some. There is some sour brulee. Um, we'll have a little. Sour if brulee, look, look, so look. If that's if, what you want, don't worry if, about. if you guys bust out the pitchforks, he might bust out a couple ounces. Yeah, we'll put it like that. It, it wasn't a priority this year, just because. Um, we grew just so many better strains, in my opinion. Like, uh, but no, but I hear you on the sour belay. We did end up growing a little bit of that. I was gonna release that for wholesale, but um, if enough of you, you know, kind of get at me, I guess I can, uh, I could probably release some. Um, 
direct to consumer to the people to the consumers yeah um they, he's um willow said that they dropped the varin strains yeah you're not growing the cbdv this year you know there were no new cbdv strains out i actually know of one new one that just became got on my radar recently but no we didn't um we still have a ton of uh distillate left um and a bunch of uh bio left from this past season so we will be making the oils we'll keep on the oils those aren't going to go away so don't sweat those uh, but the flower itself, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to, uh, I'm, unless I buy some from another farm and then sell it, resell it myself, which I've never really done before. Um, we're not going to have any new CBDVs this season. It's, just, it's, it's problematic. I don't know. It's a long story. It's a whole separate, um, IG conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh patrick um i mean not patrick jesha is um he's really trying to grow what's the terpene profiles that are that are high in demand you know and the cbdv was definitely more of a well the cbdv is definitely more of a uh uh oh you know what oh it's locked already no, I was going to change my shoes. I, I, these shoes are fucking up my back, but it's cool when we come out. Um, the CBDV is definitely more of a, a niche product. Um, and Jess is trying to go after the, the connoisseurs, you know? He's trying to go after people like me that want the yummy, stanky cushions. So that's why his, basically, his entire lineup this year is stanky cushions. Hello. Um... And I'm, I'm speaking for him, so I, I could be. Oh, well, he said I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I'm making. I'm being presumptuous. Uh, yeah, we had to come to this little store real quick. He's looking for like a speed charger for his... like power adapters, like USB power. All right, thank you. Oh, oh, all right, thank you. Yeah, I forgot power brick at home that I need to charge my drone. Well, I'm out here, and let's see if they have any here. Well, let's see. They got. Let me see the wattage on this. Um. So yeah, and then we're about to go. Um, we're gonna go out to eat after this. This looks like the most powerful one they have. This is gonna. Have, this is gonna have to do it. Think I see. Oh, this is a cool little store. An interesting store. So this is a, there's no like grow. Oh, they got toys and games, clothing. No groceries. So this is like. A, they have a few, but not like. Um, it's not a grocery store. They might have a no little. Yeah. So this is kind of like. A, where I'm at right now, it's it's kind of like uh, reminds me of like Kmart, but with no no food. So it's like kind of like a little mini Walmart or Target, but with no groceries. Let me see these T-shirts. Yep. Um, yeah, but I'm. Uh, yeah, the sour brulee. A lot of people like the sour brulee. Uh, oh, um, another patron on Patreon said, "You have a sampler." He said, "A solid sampler option would be killer." Maybe I haven't messed around with that yet. Um, that just requires me to like. Way out a lot of small look, look, so here's the thing. Jesha's <laughs> kind of a one-man army, so... Yeah, he's kind of a one-man army, so it's... Some of the more... Novelty things like that. You know, more more options are kind of harder for him to fulfill, but... 
I love the feedback though. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's he, good feedback. He appreciates we're, the we're feedback. We're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Willis said, ha ha, Silver Hayes got the number one spot on the shirt. Yeah, so I'm I'm rocking the Legends Never Die shirt with all the all the legendary strains and and something that something that YouTube Something that YouTube, well, a lot of people don't seem to understand is that just because I don't like those older strains doesn't mean I don't respect them because they, uh, they're, they're really special and they deserve respect. But they, they were mid, absolutely. Yeah, Arrowleaf. Where is Arrowleaf? I completely forgot they're, about Arrowleaf. They're in Bend. They're in Central. Oh, that's that's Central that's up. Oregon. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's it's pretty far from here. There you are. Pretty far from here. There you are. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. Uh huh. Yeah, Arrowleaf would have been. Um, thank, thank you. you. Uh huh. Yeah, Arrowleaf would have been. Um, Arrowleaf would have been a good place to check out. Um, the um, thank you, the Juarez family. Which is so Arrowleaf is like Horn Creek, where um, it's just a family operation. So it's a father and his sons and and children-in-law. I'm assuming they they are the ones who grow and work the farm and everything. Um, really nice people, very kind family. Um, you know, so shout out to Arrowleaf. Um, they are here in Oregon, but they are up. They are a few hours away from here, so. I'm not gonna be able to check them out, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe on a future journey. Um, oh. <clears throat> Man, I gotta pee. Coffee and that water. Oh, that Haritos line. That I'm wondering. Like, yeah, I had a pretty good burrito. Uh, uh, it's an Oregon, because you know, obviously, California has the best Mexican food, particularly LA. And Jesha uh, took me to one of his spots he likes going to, and I got a carne asada burrito, and it was actually pretty good. It was filling and um, the carne asada was <coughs> nice and, and, and cooked cooked well. The salsa was good. But that was back, that was like around like, that was like afternoon. So it's time for dinner. Uh, Jesha, he gets grumpy when he's hungry. So right now we're kind of, you know, like Pookie on New Jack heading on over to the pizza place right now. Taco Bell. Oh look everybody, Taco Bell. So you know. No, I love Taco Bell. I'm not eating Taco Bell while I'm here though. I'm, I'm unless it's Taco Bell breakfast, I'll consider it. But uh yeah, I'm a Taco Bell fan. Um man, I got a piece so bad. Uh we're probably five to ten minutes. Right? Uh, I'll make it, I'll make it. Thank you, Yeah, um, So yeah, this was kind of a cool little end of the night live thing. Um, I'm glad that um, 
Oh, you know what? No, I got. I came. No, I came. This is. You see, this is stuff like this is why I didn't go to the plaza. So we got. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. I'm trying to. I'm trying to just. Just while we drive, I'm gonna. Supplemental lighting. Oh wow, that's a, that's too much lighting. How's that? That's still too much. All right, that's decent. Yeah, so we got some diffuse light going on. <laughs> um, nervous said. Monroe Farms had a dope Super Haze back in... Dude, I, I, I don't think I've ever had a good Super Haze. I think the best Super Haze I had was from Hemp Pop. And it was just good for Super Haze. Super Haze has a terpene profile that does not attract me in any form or fashion. It smells like pine and wood and cat pee and just no thank you. Um... Yeah, Patrick, you do need to try Taco Bell breakfast, man. You're up early. Get you one of them breakfast breakfast crunch wraps. This is the, the college over here. Oh, okay. Which college is that? Southern Oregon Southern University. Oregon. Um, let me see. Um, RPS said the bell is the best. Yeah. Taco Bell is my favorite fast food. Uh, Taco Bell and Wendy's is my favorite fast food. And and I guess in the cheap category, right? Um, because then I, I kind of put Chick-fil-A and Raising Cane's and Five Guys and In-N-Out. I kind of put them in a separate category of kind of a more like premium fast food. But as far as Taco Bell and McDonald's, and Burger King and that shit's concerned, Taco Bell and Wendy's is definitely the best. Jesse said, I'd be interested in seeing someone crossbreed cross -breed some classic skunk. That's the with... high school. There's my high school. That's right the high school. Oh. Uh, we're passing the Ashland High School. Oh, that's literally what the sign says. Um, the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies. Um, Said crossing some classic skunk with gorilla glue into a CBD. Uh, that's a possibility. That's a very particular cross. So I say, Jesse, get on that. You can get. You can get. Uh, there's a the 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 gorilla glue that type uh, that Five Leaf Wellness grows. The gorilla CBD. I think that's a really good place to start as far as the Gorilla Glue. And those seeds are from, um, where are they from? Medmen? No, no, that's not Medmen. What am I true? Um, the seeds are available, the Gorilla CBD. Uh, they're from Europe. Um, and then the classic skunk, you can, there are also type 2 skunk seeds available from, uh, if you go to Seedsman Seeds or Multiverse Beans, they have a type 2-ish, type 2, type 3-ish skunk. And um, that place looks so cool. The growler. Uh, if you bought seeds of each of those and you grew them out and you crossed them and then you pheno hunted you know you found the most type three ish thing to come out of there which might be hard if they're both kind of one one type twos you'll end up with a lot more one one type twos but that could be further work down um you know you could potentially mix some like some sour one of the oregon cbd sours that are crossed with gorilla glue um in there 
to water it down into a type 3 and still keep Gorilla Glue-ish terps. But you'll still have the gas from the Gorilla CBD. And then you'll have, obviously have the skunk from this. Anyway, I'm ranting, dude. I'm going crazy. Um, Jesse said, cheap, fast, and good. You can only get two at once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because Chick-fil-A, for example, I think Chick-fil-A is, you know, absolutely top tier, but it's not cheap. Um, it's fast and it's good, but it's not cheap. And Taco Bell is fast. No, well, I don't know, dude. I, 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 I would say Taco, Taco Bell. Taco Bell is like three fifty for a taco nowadays. I can get like a... Yeah, but you know what? Cheaper taco at like the authentic oh, Mexican cool. restaurant. No, but you know what, dude? Taco Bell is the cheapest fast food because at Taco, you can go to Taco Bell and for $5.99 get a chalupa, uh, a beefy five layer burrito, Jack in the box. a drink, and some 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 little cinnamon twisters or, or nachos for, for $6. Can't beat it. Um, Jack in the box. So I live in I live in South LA and we have Jack in the box and it's it's in South LA that is the ghetto restaurant. Oh. Okay. That is where all the homeless people eat. It's my least favorite, but I, in terms of cheap, like Well the tacos can't be I think big. for like five bucks you can get a for five bucks you can get like seven tacos from Jack in the Box. Um yeah. Taco okay. Taco Bell's dude, ta I go to the thing I love about Taco Bell is it's the absolute cheapest fast food for me to eat. Um, yeah, oh, they're in the comments just debating about Taco Bell and shit. Um, all right. Um, I, well, I'm going to take y'all into the restaurant we're going to, and then I'm going to end the live because I don't, I don't want to take like, oh, you know what? I didn't roll up a joint. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to come after we order the food. I'm going to have to come back out and roll a J and smoke it. I have to pee really bad. Otherwise, I would stop right now and roll. Um, in and out is, you know, in and out, you know, in and out is a classic. You know, I don't think anybody says anything bad about in and out. Um, let me just make sure I'm not forgetting. I need my hand sanitizer. Oh, I got Indian food here too. Uh, yeah, so check this out. This is the this is the scene in um, we're in downtown. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, all right. I'll make sure I have all my accessories. My bad, I couldn't find a... Okay, so we're in downtown Ashland, and I mean, this is how the entire thing is. It's just, it's quaint and picturesque, and there's a, there's like, down there, there's a creek that runs through the middle of town. Did you lock the car? Yeah. Okay. And, um, like, look, I'm going to show you all this, this creek right here. We came out here and ate last night. That's how I know that this is here. Um, but look, this is like their little downtown, dude. And there's just, um, there's like families and like old people walking around and it's safe. And there's no like MS-13 members or crackheads. Oh, it's dark, but you can kind of see. There's a, it's very peaceful. It's very clean. There's not a speck of trash on the ground anywhere. Unlike LA, there's like entire mattresses and shit. Uh, but there's a creek that runs right through the middle of town. Oh, you can see it right there. It is so beautiful. It's unreal. And then there's all these bars and restaurants for like little like mom and pop shop, mom and pop type of places. Um, Yeah. Thank you. Um, excuse me. And here's our here's our destination for the night. Um, we need some pizza. So I'm gonna. 
Yeah, I did a full interview with Jesha. Um, that'll be on the actual video that comes out. So, yeah, I'm going to end the live right there, though, y'all, because people are looking at me crazy. Like, why am I talking to my phone? Um, so, <clears throat> I'll catch y'all tomorrow. If where we're going to the, the farms are going tomorrow are like way more remote. So there's a good chance I'm not going to have any sort of service or anything. So if if I do and I can go live, I'll, I'll go live. Um, if not, I'll see you probably in the evening once we get back into town. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go enjoy some pizza, all right? So peace to everybody. Thanks for, thanks for, for watching. Later. Later, everybody. <laughs> Check out the new harvest. <laughs> all right, y'all. That was good. That was